Grim Grin Gaming, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a few assets for the Match 3 game that you've been making with Aaron in the Match 3 tutorial series with Unity and C Sharp. Uh, first, I'm in a 3D modeling program, and so what we're going to do is use this to make uh, some 3D objects that we'll use for our uh, Match 3 objects. Um, we're just going to do basic geometry and some basic texturing and then some basic animations in Unity and creating some particle effects. So I'm going to be using Maya, Photoshop, and Unity. Um, you can use Blender as well. I've never been a big fan of Blender or you can use Cinema 4D or uh, any other 3D modeling uh, software. You can use GIMP or Photoshop or uh, some other Photoshop-esque program. And of course you must use unity all right so let's get started first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna be in the polygons we're gonna go to the polygon tab uh, click on this if uh, it doesn't appear right away it's because in your create you have interactive creation set on which means that you have to drag it while you create it I prefer not to so uh, go ahead and do it like that and also as you can see you can also just go to create polygon primitives uh, and torus. Yeah, torus. Alright, so continuing on, let's go to our side place. There's an attribute editor and there's also a channel box layer editor. Go ahead and hit uh, poly torus here and we're going to make the radius 2. Hit enter and that'll just make it a bit wider. And it's divided up into uh, 20 by 20 segments going around and around and the first thing that we're going to need to do is cut out the middle of this so what I'm going to do is go ahead and go 10 10 just make it easier to see right click uh, my thing should change colors when I right click it'll change one color I believe it's red when I left click it'll change to uh, a darker blue and anyways right click go to face select one face and then hold down shift select the second face it'll highlight all of them and then we're gonna go ahead and just hit delete highlight one face hold down shift double click delete alright so now we have that with the middle all cut out and let's go ahead and texture this while we have it like this um, object mode click on it go up to edit UVs hit delete UVs go to create UVs go to oh no, edit UVs go to UV texture editor and so this will pop up right now there's nothing in there it's a grid I'm not even sure what these other parts of the grid are for but our textures have to remain in this darker gray area so we have this selected still and let's go to create UVs we're going to use cylindrical mapping and so we'll get this right here and that's our cylindrical map. Um, first thing we're going to do is right click inside of the editor, hit UV, highlight it, see all these dots correspond if you're doing more advanced uh, UV editing and you need something to match up perfectly right here, you can just click on this one and then find it wherever it is right there so that's where that would be so there you go that's how you can picture how this UV map works but again we're doing a very basic one so highlight the whole thing hit R to resize click on this to resize the entire thing uh, you know equally and now let's hit W and move it out we'll move it back in later but we're gonna have other uh, things to add in so that's gonna be our outer torus circle uh, texture and now let's go back to here let's go ahead and click uh, object mode click there oh, sorry about that edge click one edge hold down shift click the other edge it'll highlight all of these now we're gonna wanna go to mesh fill hole and it'll fill the hole and then we're just gonna duplicate that here click one double click you can hit G to uh, redo something G 
and so now we have that um, actually I'm not happy that I did that so control Z to undo control Z to undo control Z and just get back to where we were uh, what I want to do first is hit object mode click on this go up here under polygons it's called smooth because I want this to be circular I just made it higher poly so that I can see it better but when I do the smooth function I don't want the faces to be smoothed because I don't need extra polys on uh, the faces so go ahead and do this smooth once if you're happy with that leave it like that smooth twice got a bunch of more polygons different faces and that's how I want it so I'm gonna leave it like that I think I'll get away with it go to edge and click one edge two edge three edge to be able to do the full select around because it's uh, got a lot more faces and polygons now go to mesh fill hole flip this around click one two I can get away with clicking two and holding shift and double clicking go to mesh fill hole or you could have hit G again to duplicate it so now we want to right click face select the face go to create UVs go to plan planar mapping uh, but click here and that is the options box we just want to make sure that we're using the right axis in this case it's this green axis which you can see here green is Y so we're gonna project from the Y axis hit project got our circle in here go ahead and right click UV highlight hit R resize that's the wrong way make sure that you get this yellow one to do an equal resize hit W move it out of there flip this over right click face select the face create UVs we know what it is planar mapping go ahead and come over here right click UV highlight hit R resize and we're good that is all the textures for this entire object so I'm gonna leave this one in here so I'm just gonna move it remember it's got to be inside the gray so if it's out here no good out here no good right here is fine go ahead and highlight this one move it back in I'm gonna have plenty of room obviously so get everything in here and there we go so now that we have our uh, texture UV map done go up here hit polygons UV snapshot this window will come up UV snapshot go to browse here for the file name and I'm gonna go to here go to videos match three touch I'm gonna save it as UV come up snapshot save make sure all your settings in here are good it might be on Maya if or uh, something but just go with PNG 1024 by 1024 for halfway decent resolution and everything uh, hit OK to save it you must select a valid object Make sure you select the object, go back, hit UV, see that it's in the right place, save it where you'd like. UV snapshot, save, um, hit OK, and there we go, I didn't select the object, which was the problem. Alright, so now that we've done that, we're good with Maya for the moment. 